Okay everybody, I'm going to be showing you how to do some starter solenoid testing. Clearly I've got the solenoid off of the starter motor here. And this is off of a John Deere riding tractor, an X340. I'm resurrecting after mice lived on the engine for a couple of years, a few years. This starter assembly is very similar to uh, you know, any kind of small block, big block Chevy stuff, uh, various other models where the solenoid is mounted directly on the starter motor. In this case, when I'm hitting the key, uh, I don't have anything going on with the starter at all. So I'm testing the solenoid here. And right now I've got my jump pack is turned on. Uh, we've got some juice in it and I've got it hooked up to uh, just one of the lugs over here for a ground. And I've got my negative lead of my multimeter on that. And then I've got the positive side on the positive terminal where your big battery cable would go on the solenoid here. And then I've got a little jumper wire that I'm going to use to jumper across. And I'm going to put the positive lead on the other terminal of the solenoid that would be connected to this power wire on the starter motor. Okay, so two things we want to check for on the solenoid is when I jumper when I jump across from power to the the, key, the keyed uh, terminal on the solenoid, this is going to replicate me turning the key and activating the starter. So two things should happen. Number one, it should send power to this bottom lug down here, which right now you can tell has no voltage going across. And yes, I do have almost 12 volts going to the solenoid but on that bottom lug I have nothing and then we should also hear this click we should be able to actually feel it move but there's a trick so here we go first things first let's see if we get power across okay there we do so we're gonna lose we're gonna have some voltage drop uh, as it does its little inconveniencing of electrons but we didn't hear any clicking going on here now me being the <clears throat> YouTube expert that I am um, I'm gonna tell you that just like I know what I'm talking about that this runs off of electromagnets in here and if they're too far apart the electricity can't pull them together and make them do what they're supposed to do right now with this out of the starter this post is extended way out here Okay, so the gap between the magnets is too much for the voltage to overcome. Okay, I'm going to press this in just a little bit. Okay, so now you see the voltage going across to the bottom lug. You hear the click. And you can see that it's good. But when you don't have this installed into the starter case itself uh, it, this is going to just go full extendo on you and not work or seem like it's not working although the solenoid itself might actually be good so this is just a bench check it's by all means not the end all be all of is this the problem or not this is just something to check if you think you're having trouble for me in my case my problem is the starter motor. I get absolutely nothing and I should be getting absolutely something <laughs> out of this thing. The motor itself is a dead duck. So maybe this will help you figure out what's going on with your stuff. Not that I think you can hardly buy a separate solenoid anymore. It may not even be worth the trouble, but if you're piecing things together with used parts like I do, um, you know, might help. Good luck. Ugh. Be glad you don't have smell vision.
when you take these things apart, always make sure you're keeping track of the orientation. There we go. And you can see some of that just fell down in there, but it's had all kinds of rodent giblets in here. Who knows really what the problem is? I'm kind of curious. I doubt it's this actual motor. I'm betting it's something to do down inside of all this. So after taking the air gun to both halves, I got all the schmoo out that I can. And I noticed, you know, we've got some, I don't even want to call it corrosion, but definitely dirty spots here on this motor. Uh, some, see that's pretty shiny there, but then you get to this spot here where, I don't know, maybe some, some of that urine slit down there. I, I don't really know. Uh, I'm not a big electronic motor expert. I am going to take some steel wool, try to shine that up, thinking maybe that's part of the issue we had. Sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you don't get lucky. And it's me, so probably not going to get lucky. But I'm going to get this clean, put the two halves back together, see what happens. Nothing to lose. It wasn't working anyway. That definitely doesn't seem right, though. Have I mentioned how bad this thing smells? I have to wonder if that big glop of grass and stuff that came out earlier, right there, if maybe that wasn't at some point holding moisture, corroded this, and all of that combined was insulating this from power getting to it. It's as hard as this is to get off of here, I can't imagine can't imagine that electricity would want to flow through it very well. Right, let's go blow that off with some air, throw it together and see what happens. So, this that used to be on here, I just took a hammer Hit the ears on each side. Knock that off. Because we got to retract our brushes. Let's see, I see a little corrosion on that one. There. Okay. 
So now I'm going to put this on like so. All right, so no great secret other than just screwing with it until you get it back together. Don't force it or you'll mess up that bearing in there, but cleaning up those surfaces really helped me out a lot. Duh. Very curious to see if I stumbled across accidentally the cause of the issue. And if so, I guess I've ordered a, another starter for no real reason. Okay. Let's see what happens. Who's betting? I'm betting it works, guys. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that, folks. And that is how you can redo a cranky starter on a John Deere X340. Now, let's put the whole thing back together and see what we have. I'm willing to bet we have great success. sure your copper is not touching any of the metal of the casing. Now, my friends, the true test. Let's go live up here. Where we are going to short across those two terminals I showed you earlier. And power. Two cylinders. Look at that. 